This is Dr. Kirk McCullough from Kansas City, and what we're going to highlight today is the use of the BioSearch kit and the combination of the Allosync Allograft system along with the Angel concentration system. So as you can see here in the box, as you open the BioSearch kit, this is the first thing that you'll see. So this is the Allosync matrix as it comes with this particular kit here. And then just beneath this, you then see the Angel CPRP system that is deep to that, that is provided with this system. And the important thing to realize about this is what we're trying to harness here is the ability of the patient's own osteoinductive potential that we can concentrate along with the allosync osteoconductive nature of the allograft to provide an overall triad of healing along with the cells, signal, and scaffold. All right, so you can see at this point uh, we've already harvested a bone marrow aspirate whether it's from the iliac crest, proximal tibia, or the distal tibia or calcaneus, uh, you can utilize any one of these sites for that. And then we will utilize the angel system uh, for a further spin down of this. And so as you can see here, we've already prepared where our screw insertion site will be proximal to the fifth metatarsal base. And then under fluoro, I will identify the site of where the fracture is and make a small incision through which you can use a freer to then mobilize the periosteum. So I go deep and plantar as well as dorsal and medial to create a small little pocket subperiosteally that we're then going to use the bio surge uh, construct in the components including both the spin down from the angel as well as the dbm to then inject in that area in addition to that we will also under fluoro go through the intermedullary space and then inject at the site of the fracture as well a small volume of that BioSearch product as well. All right, and so what you can see here is uh, this is the 2.5 cc's of Allosync Pure. The important thing to understand about that is that is 100% bone without the need for a carrier. And realizing that, uh, also the ability of the cells and the product that we're able to isolate from the angel spin down is able to bind with that and does not need, as compared to other competitive products, the need of a carrier for that to be able to stay with that graft. And what you can see here on the left is what we have as a yield from our angel spin down, uh, three cc's of that concentrated PRP from the iliac crest in this case. And so what you'll do is you'll then combine those two and then ultimately have a yield similar to this that is now, at least in this uh, cc syringe, uh, a flowable component uh, that we will then, through a TUI needle, advance both at the fracture site subperiosteally as well as within the intermedullary canal. So at this point, first I would inject into the intermedullary space until you can see where the fracture is that we've created. Now we'll then advance the TUI needle to that site. And once you can see under fluoroscopy that you are at the site of the fracture, you can then connect your syringe with the BioSurge product. And so then under fluoro at that site, I will then advance and add some of the product into that intermedullary space, making sure that just distal at and just proximal to the fracture I'm adding a small amount of graft. You do not want to add a whole lot of volume to this point because obviously you still have to place your screw. And so similarly, what we'll do now in the subperiosteal space that we created previously, you can place the TUI needle in this spot and then remove the obturator. And then what you will do, similar to what we did in that intramedullary canal, you will then add graft subperiosteally all around the fracture site. And so you want to place that plantarly, laterally, and dorsally. And then at this point, we're ready to then advance the screw across the fracture. So at this point, we're ready to then advance the screw into place. And so once your screw is then in place, enable to then get final shots of the construct.